What's going on everybody? This is Extra Gravy. You can call me Diarrhea because I run shit. Call me Swiffer the Sweeper because I stay dust in that ass. I got you a MOAB gameplay on the map, Carbon. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to try and talk to you exactly what's going through my mind. Uh, what's going through my head as I'm playing this game. Uh, you know, the first guy I killed, I took some damage, so I sat in the corner and uh, regen my health. Uh, the second guy, uh, he was trying to do a high jump over the fence. I don't know really what he was doing. So, uh, you know, typically in this video, when I take damage, I find cover to regen my health and, uh, you know, gain my health back so I don't run out and die after one uh, taking one bullet. <clears throat> but you see here, I'm rocking the PP90 with silencer, and I'm using rapid fire also. Um, if you haven't noticed already, uh, this is my account. I did prestige. I don't know why. It was probably the worst idea ever. Um, yeah, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, uh, I did prestige, so I'm using the PP90 rapid fire and uh, silencer. Um, first perks were steady aim, um, sleight of hand, and hard line. That way I get all my perks earlier. Uh, typically, I use the same perks with su submachine guns, so I'm not really going to go into all that. Um, you can see here when you get all the perks, uh, Marksman isn't really great with a submachine gun, but what it does is it lets you know where, hey, like, if, say I aim down sights out this door. See, I see two red names, so I know there's at least two guys out there. Stupid idea if I ran out there. So, I know I'm outnumbered, especially with the weapon that I have. So, I pull back. Um, I actually run out of bullets with my PP90, so I go ahead and pick up some scavenger packs to get some more ammo. Um, you'll notice in this map also, uh, during this game, I stay towards the, uh, I guess, the right side of the map as I'm looking right now. Uh, the left side right now. Um, uh, that, that reason is because there's a lot of uh, close quarter areas. Um, typically on the other side of the map, it's a lot of longer sight lines. So uh, an assault rifle would be better uh, you know, for that side of the map. Um, so I try to avoid that area at all costs. Stay towards the middle. Um, I try not to run in this middle building too much because that's where everybody loves to camp in corners and things like that. Um, I think that guy was AFK, so I just go ahead and burst fired him. But um, I try and stay on this side of the map. Like I said, there's a lot of close quarter areas. Um, you know, I don't want to run over there because you know this gun isn't very great at long sight lines. Now maybe if I had an MP7, uh, something like that, you know, it's a little easier from long range. But you know, for this gun here, it's in particular, it's not very good at long ranges. Um, now in this map, you have two spawns. Typically, they spawn in the very bottom and the very top, uh, which means there's only going to be coming. Say, if I'm on this side of the map, they can only get out two ways. You got right here through the right, and you got through this building on the left. So pretty much you know if they're going to be coming, they're going to be coming from that area. And same thing on the bottom. You have that middle building where people come out the steps and then go out left out that door. Or they run to that corner building and run up the steps and run out to the very back corner of the map. So when you go back and forth on this side of the map, you know, you pretty much, you know, if you know where they're spawning at, you, you pretty much know where they're coming from. You have, you have a one or two chance of either guessing where they're coming from. Um, but, you know, if you patrol back and forth like I'm doing, I'm not rushing into the spawn because, like I said, this gun isn't very good from long range. And, uh, you know, that's just part of playing smart. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew um, for simple fact that, you know, if you're three on one, chances of you living are not very good. Um, that door right there is, you know, mainly where they come out of on the bottom spawn. Um, I know my teammates are spawning back there. I see them spawning in the spawn, so I push back up to the top and uh, you know catch them spawn coming out of this spawn. So that's really all I do in this map is float back and forth between spawns. Um, you know this is a very rare occasion where I run out into the middle, but I just float back and forth with the spawns. Just um, you know, like like I said, when you know where they're spawning, it gives you the upper hand because they don't know where you're at. They know you're in the middle of the map somewhere. That's pretty much all you know all they can find out. You know, because you're not in their spawn, obviously they're not going to spawn. Well, let's all be honest, the spawns are absolutely terrible. But, you know, they know they're not going to be right in the spawn. So they're going to run out to the middle. Unless you're camping in a corner, you know, they don't know exactly where you're at. So just stay on the move. You know, get one or two kills and move to a different area. You don't want to sit in the same area um, for the simple fact that if you do, you know, there's a lot of revenge killers. I am one of them myself. I will come back and I will kill you if you're in the same area. So uh, you just get one or two kills and then just move to the next area. But just let me know if this helps you guys out. Um, I know Carbon doesn't get picked very often, but when it does, uh, you, at least you guys have a game plan of what you should be doing. Um, you know, you don't have to do it. That's just the way I like to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a nice day. See you.